Chemical, aerospace, and electrical engineering are all losing jobs over the next 10 years. That's according to Bureau of Labor Statistics. Mechanical engineering and civil engineering are growing as fast as the average. Let me read you these two comments, one posted in my Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash engineer truth, and one posted on my page, facebook.com slash engineer truth. The first one reads, I'm stuck in a really bad situation. I graduated from a California public university with a BS chemical engineering degree in June 2016. The problem is that I can't find any work related to my major for almost a year of applying and I don't have any hope anymore. I have no internship experience, but I graduated with a 3.5 GPA and passed my fundamentals of engineering exam. I can't do an internship because it's for current college students and I can't find any entry level role. It seems like a dead end engineering career for me. I might not even use my degree at all. <sighs> then let me read the second comment. Why is it so hard for me to get a job in engineering? Everyone is looking for experience, but yet nobody wants to give me a chance. Any advice from you guys, please. I live in New York and I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree in 2012. 2012. There's a lot of advice going on right now that you should just get any engineering degree and it'll be easy to get a job. It's not. With a declining amount of engineering jobs and an increasing population, it's just getting harder and a lot of people are gonna get screwed over. Now, what worries me is a lot of these people who are writing these comments or who can't get jobs, they're considering doubling down and getting a master's degree in engineering. Let me step back and give you some personal stories. My first degree was in psychology. After I graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology, I realized I had not learned anything at all. Most of my classmates ended up getting a master's in psychology and most of them have low paying jobs right now. Social work, child development, though some of them find it fulfilling, some of them just find their job annoying. But either way, uh, I would say they're never gonna become rich doing that kind of work. Now for me, since I didn't learn anything in my psychology degree, I looked at the situation and said, should I double down on something that hasn't benefited me. I haven't learned anything and also has no career opportunities. So instead of doubling down on psychology, I just walked away. Then I got a mechanical engineering degree. I did really well, uh, graduated cum laude, got two internships, got a full-time job immediately after graduation. Now I did really well in school and I enjoyed school. I enjoyed the student competitions, but when it came to working, I hated it. It was boring, tedious, paperwork, it was routine. I didn't like the structure, I didn't like the corporate culture, and it was still hard for me to get a job despite me uh, doing really well. I also passed my fundamentals of engineering exam. I even got a tattoo, actually, I never show this on my channel, but I have a tattoo. Okay, you guys can see that. I got a tattoo that's uh, the fundamental, was it, physics, Newton's first law of, anyhow. It's F equals MA, is what it is. It's a, a fundamental uh, law of physics. So after I passed the fundamentals of engineering exam, I, I got that tattoo because I, I was so proud of myself. And then I was planning to get the second equation on my left-hand side after I passed the PE, professional engineering exam. But that never happened because I quit engineering. So why did I quit mechanical engineering? I looked at the situation. I said, if I progress in my career as a mechanical engineer, is it ever gonna give me the lifestyle I want? No, whether I had a master's degree or whether I, whether I kept working, the culture in mechanical engineering is that you're always gonna have to show up to work and you're always gonna have to work 40 hours a week, oftentimes more. You know, I looked at YouTube and I knew it could give me the lifestyle that I wanted. I, you know, I make videos that I find fulfilling, like this video here, I really help, I really feel like I'm helping people out and um, I can live remotely. Like right now I'm shooting this video in the Philippines. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I just went wakeboarding for the first time on a Friday when I should be at work. You know, I've been, I've been living here in the Philippines for the past two months. And then uh, before that, I lived in Europe where I met a lot of you guys, grabbed a drink with many of you. And I really like my life right now. But when I think of the critical decisions in my life, 
what I did was I looked at a situation where I had to choose a fork in the road. And I thought to myself, do I double down on something that's not working or do I just leave the situation? And I always just left the situation if it hasn't worked out for me. The bachelor's in mechanical engineering didn't work out for me. So instead of getting master's or MBA, just walk away from that. Last year, I was able to attend Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp in Utah for free in exchange for making YouTube, YouTube videos about my experience. Now I had a very positive experience there. At the career fair, I was given three interviews. I'm talking about the career fair that Dev Mountain, Dev Mountain held for us. And then after I updated my LinkedIn profile, a lot of recruiters started messaging me on LinkedIn asking if I wanna have a chat about positions I never even applied for. That never happened as a mechanical engineer. When I was a mechanical engineer, I had the LinkedIn profile, I had like two internships, I had the full-time job, I had the fundamentals of engineering exam, but nobody messaged me asking me to apply for jobs. But when I had put the web developer stuff on there, suddenly I'm regularly getting messages asking me to apply for jobs. Now, I also came to a fork in the road when I had to make the choice, do I want to become a full-time web developer or do I want to be a, just stay as a full-time YouTuber? And then I addressed the situation and to be honest, I would make more money being a YouTuber than I would as a web developer. So even though I enjoyed web development, I said, you know, I need to double down on what's working and what's working is my YouTube channel. A lot of people will get their egos in the way when they make these kind of decisions. Like, well, you know, a web developer, that is a technical career and it's a respectable one where you're adding value to society and you know all this stuff that you often see in YouTube comments that don't really make sense. Like for me, just, oh, it's not working. Well, just forget it. Just I'm just gonna go double down on YouTube. Now I know if you're watching this video and you're majoring in engineering right now or you just graduated in engineering, you might start panicking. That's a healthy panic that you should have. You should start applying for internships right now. Because if you can't get an internship right now, if, assuming you're in your junior year or senior year, then it's not gonna get much easier after graduation. And then I'll also add this. I used my degree for less than a year after I graduated. But I'm making more money than my classmates who still use their mechanical engineering degree. And I have a lifestyle that I mentioned before where I can live anywhere in the world. Now I choose the Philippines just because I have a lot of fun here. But maybe for you that's uh, Brazil or maybe for you that's Thailand or whatever it is for you. But the whole point is I'm not using my degree. I'm making more money than my classmates and I have a lot more freedom and a lot more control over my life a lot more control over how much money I make. And I'm not using my degree at all. So for you, if you just switch right now, in three years, no matter what you pick, as long as you choose in-demand career, you can be making $100,000 no matter what it is. You're like, what? All right, the three years is just a guideline, right? But let's play with some examples. Web developer, if you took a coding bootcamp right now, graduated, got a job, in three years, you'll easily be making $100,000. Digital marketing, something that I've been promoting constantly on this channel because the course I sell, I, I'm an affiliate of, it gets people jobs. We just got a girl, Ashley, a job for $53,000 a year. In three years, Ashley could very easily be making $100,000. If you go to Angel's List, angel.co, and look at the digital marketing manager positions, they almost all pay over $100,000. And they typically ask for about three or four years of experience. My YouTube channel took me four years to earn $100,000. And the first one or two years, I was just doing it on the side. So no matter what skill it is, as long as you choose a skill that's in demand right now and today, you could be earning $100,000 in three years. So don't be scared to just walk away this situation because the last thing I want someone to do is go $30,000 in debt for a bachelor's degree, then go another $30,000 in debt for a master's degree, and then still struggle to get a job. Try one of these in-demand careers first for a year, 
And if it doesn't work out, then yeah, maybe consider going back to engineering if, if it works out. But I have a strong feeling that if you stick to these in-demand careers like software development or digital marketing, you're gonna have a much better experience. It leads to higher pay and also leads to more freedom of your schedule and more control over how much money you can make. That's my video, guys. That's all I wanna say. This is not a video where I want to see people get their egos all tangled up. I'm just speaking the truth. I have numbers to back it up. I have comments on my Facebook group and on my Facebook page to back it up. And I have personal experience to back it up too. Um, so that's all I want to say. And if you found this video helpful, you should consider subscribing to my channel so that you get my future videos. See ya.